bang. That is the current condition. Right, here is the plan for today. I've got a video I've got to upload to YouTube, so I'm going to edit that and then upload it. Um, I need to catch up with a couple of clients. I need to continue working on my six week grow program. Um, I'm going to watch a couple of videos. That sounds not for me, so. Watch a couple of YouTube videos. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the first half of the day. So I'm not going to eat much food this morning. Um, just get my work done and then start eating before working out and then after workout as well. So the majority of my food comes later on in the day. Um, I'm currently consuming 3,600 calories, 220 grams of protein, 450 grams of carbs and about 100 grams of fat. And normally on off days when I'm not training, I drop my carbs down and increase my fats up. So we'll go to like 350 carbs and 160 grams of protein roughly. Um, and it just allows me to utilize fat a little bit more as opposed to having carbs that I'm not using. I think I figured I would do a little edit and just do a voiceover for the video because I haven't done one in a while and I really want to just speak to you guys personally trying to enjoy this upright right now but my left shoulder was twinging a little bit and I was really trying to go as heavy as possible I did have to drop the weight down and just focus on squeezing at the top um, yeah just find somebody who can push you and can challenge you but also someone who makes you happy and do the things that make you happy because at the end of the day you don't want to look back and think I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that, okay, so just, if I was going to say anything to take away from this video, enjoy your life, push yourself to succeed, but be happy with who you are and who you're becoming, and just every day, try and smile, live life, and enjoy the things. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope the commentary was alright, and I haven't bored you to death. Okay, so, I started with one pack of blueberry HEB oatmeal. Um, I've added water to it, mixed it up, I'm going to heat it up again in a moment. Now I'm going to add one serving of PB2. Um, for one serving is 45 calories, 1 gram of fat, 6 grams of carbs and 4 grams of protein. So I'm going to put that in. I'm also going to volume out the oatmeal with apple, banana and strawberries. So it's going to be like a bit of a fruit medley to the oatmeal. And then I'm actually going to be just half a serving, not a whole one, because that looks quite a lot of this. Right guys, right guys. Lauren picked on this the other day. Apparently, I say right guys at the start of pretty much every clip. So, I'm going to try and stop saying right guys. Now, right guys. Going to my fitness pal after eating breakfast, or what was breakfast, I've had 422 calories. I've still got this apple to eat. 
So I'm going to eat that now. 422 calories and 7 grams of protein, 95 grams of carbs and 3 grams of fat. My goal for today is 220 grams of protein, 453 grams of carbs and 136 grams of fat. So I've got a lot to do for the rest of the day. So I'm going to eat this apple, maybe watch a little bit of Peaky Blinders. If you've never seen Peaky Blinders on Netflix, I recommend going and checking it out. Watch that and then get to Le Gym. Then I can have a big meal straight after and really start my days eating. Also, I prefer to eat after I've trained because once I've trained, my metabolism's up, it's firing and I feel hungrier. So I can eat more volume of food because I'm hungrier, my muscles are feeding and they want more food. And I, I kind of feel like I can just give them a massive injection of food and it goes straight into my muscles as opposed to sitting in my stomach, being digested and then taking longer to get into the body. So just personal preference for me really, I think, um, rather than logic, science behind it. So I'm going to eat this and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Right. People, guys, right guys, I said I wasn't going to say it and I've said it, I'm sorry, right, back from the gym, just worked out, hit a pull session, it was good, I'm on um, week three of the GROW program and it's been a fitness GROW program, there's a glass there if you can see it, uh, week three of the GROW program and it's been a fitness, um, I weighed in this morning 202.4 pound, pounds which is 2.4 pounds added over the course of three weeks. Um, just got back from the gym, I'm gonna get something to eat. I've got loads of food. Recap, this morning I only consumed, dun, 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 wait for my fitness pal, uh, 422 calories. And that is not a lot of food. So, seven grams of protein, I've got 213 to go. Um, 450 grams of carbs and I've had 95, I've got uh, 355 left, um, 3 grams of fat, so I've got 97 grams of fat left, so this is going to be uh, a big meal coming up, it's now 20 to 2, so it's going to be an absolute huge meal, so let's get it, and I've had some Facebook messages as well, so I'm going to catch up with people on there, and I'll chat to you guys in a moment! Welcome to all the goodies. After the 4th of July, this is a lot of stuff that is left. So, I've picked out some chicken. Oh, you can't even it. I've picked out some chicken. I'm going to weigh that out. And I may even have some jalapeno sausages that were left over. Get my fat intake up. And, yeah, maybe some rice to go with it. Right. I've measured out 250 grams of chicken. That's going to be cooking nice and slow. I've got it on a really like a slow cook, really low heat. Um, I cook it really slow because I only want to turn it once. Got some water heating up because I'm having half a cup of white rice. I'm going to put a couple of these jalapeno sausages with it, which look awesome. And then I'll get some spring mix veggies and I'll put that with the rice the sausage and the chicken. I'll mix it all up, kind of like a jambalaya um, of meat and rice and veg. What I like to do with my chicken is while it's cooking, still on the first side, I've got some garlic pepper that I'm going to add to it. And then, oh, just turn the rice down a little bit. Just nice and easily shake that over the top. Bang. Then what I'll do is I'll wait for that, flip it, and I'll add some more garlic pepper to the other side before I chop it up. The rice is boiling nicely, so I'll turn the heat down, that'll cook quickly, and then I've got two jalapeno sausages that I'm gonna add to the mix when I start to heat it all up. Oh! Bang, can you do the plate now? There's the plate. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop jalapeno sausage, I'm gonna put the mixed Baby spinach spring mix on top. I'm going to put half of it on top, like so. 
a little bit of sauce on maybe some barbecue camera's on the angle yeah why not let's put some barbecue sauce on it right so I've got Casey Maspie's kettle cooked the original barbecue sauce bang and we're gonna weigh it out. Oh, okay, come on. Do it by the book. Weigh it out. Wait for that to hit zero. Zero. Now one serving is thirty-five grams. I don't think I'll be having thirty-five grams. That's enough. Dang. <laughs> Can you see that? 35 grams. I wasn't even meaning to. And I thought, oh, that'll do. 35 grams. So it just goes to show, guys, if you're not looking at your sources and not tracking your sources, you can actually be having a lot more than you think. So 35 grams has zero fats, 15 grams of carbs, no protein. So it's not too bad. 60 calories. But there's 60 calories that you're, you might not be counting. 15 grams of carbs that you're not counting, you could be going over. So I'll put this into my fitness pal and I'll let you know what I'll come back with for that. Right, people. Oh, I didn't say right, guys. I said right, people. Um, me and Lauren went to the Dollar Theatre. We watched Batman vs Superman. Then it was like... 7 o'clock, 7.30 by the time we got back. So for dinner I had chicken. I had roughly 200 grams of cooked chicken, which wasn't a lot. Um, I had about 115 grams of potato salad. And I had two pieces of um, like whole grain toast, grain toast, um, with some salad. And that was dinner. I was quite hungry. Um, it still leaves me with... 1400 calories, which is a heck of a lot. I've got 49 grams of protein, 190 grams of carbs, and 47 grams of fat. So, this is where it's about to go down, okay? Because I'm going to finish the day off. I mean, it's 9.30 now with a Lenny and Larry's cookie. Oh, dang, not 12, 2. I mean, the whole cookie. Which is 50 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, and 360 calories. So that's going to go in. I'm then going to have... I know some people are going to look at this and be like, you're having what? Um, a tub of cookies and cream bluebell ice cream, and it's 296 grams. So to top that off, I'm going to be putting some berries on my ice cream. So I'm going to go and make that now. Right then, 60 grams of carbs left to add in. So what I'm gonna add, boom, cocoa puffs. What is? Three servings of cocoa puffs is 60 grams. Oh, I'm not gonna have three servings. I'm probably gonna have like two. Oh, I would have three. Yeah, I know you would have three. So one serving is three fourths of a cup or 27 grams. So I'm gonna have two, which is 54 grams. Oh shit. Two servings? This is two servings? No, two servings is four. Wait. <laughs> no, I'm confused. It's 40. What? Serving size? Three fourths of a cup, 27 oh, grams? Yeah, sorry. So I'm having two servings, it's 54 <laughs> grams. Dang. Like, I didn't expect there to be this much. Check it out. That's two servings. I'm sorry. The cocoa puffs now. I'm right at the end of the day. I've had 208 grams of protein, so I'm like 12 grams off. I don't know whether you could see me on that bit. Let's start again 208 grams of protein, I'm like 12 grams off on my fitness pal. I've had 453 grams of carbs, which is bang on perfect. 
and I've had 105 grams of fat in total in the end. I haven't put the almond milk on here. Did you have a blueberry? No, I took a stem off there. Okay. Why is one of It's gone down to 98 grams. That was all. So, there is your My Fitness Pal. My battery is about to die. Boom. Those are all the intakes for today. Calories. Snacks, 38%, pretty much. Um, 50, 26, 24. Dang, I've got that pretty much bang on for the day. And then that's my total calories. Don't really go on those all the time. Go on the carbs, proteins, fats, i.e. macros, baby. Don't calorie count, macro count, because you can have stuff like this.